Hi kids! Today we will learn about the process of digestion in more detail. So let's start. The food enters through the mouth and then with the help of the tongue the food is moved around the mouth and teeth helps to tear the food and chew it. Saliva secreted by salivary glands moistens the food and also helps in digestion. Salivary glands are present near the cheeks, under the tongue, and around the jaw. Salivary glands produce about a liter of saliva every day. Saliva contains enzymes called amylase, which starts the chemical digestion of food by breaking down the carbohydrates into simple sugar molecules. And lysozyme present in saliva helps to keep the mouth free from germs. Saliva also contains mucus that lubricates the food and makes it easy to swallow. Bolus. After mastication, the food is called bolus, which is a small round mass of chewed food. Bolus goes through the esophagus and reaches the stomach by means of peristalsis. Peristalsis refers to the wave-like muscle contractions that moves the bolus in GI tract, that is, gastrointestinal tract. Stomach secretes the digestive juices called gastric juice that digest proteins. Gastric juices contains HCL and pepsin that kills any germs or bacteria present in food but can also damage the wall of the stomach. So stomach releases mucus that protects the inner wall of the stomach from acid. Stomach also performs mechanical digestion by means of peristalsis. Peristalsis moves the food and mixes the food with digestive juices. After the one to two hours, the food changes to a liquid state, which is called chyme. This chyme from stomach now enters the small intestine. In humans, small intestine is about 6 meters long. Small intestine gets the digestive juices from the pancreas and liver. The digestive juice from liver is called bile and the digestive juice from the pancreas is called pancreatic juice. The pancreas is a leaf-shaped organ that lies below the stomach. The pancreatic juice contains enzymes that helps to digest carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. The pancreas is the first organ that start digesting fats. It also contains bicarbonate which neutralizes the acid from the stomach. The liver produces a digestive juice called bile, which is stored in the gallbladder. The most important and main function of the small intestine is absorption of nutrients and minerals from food. And almost all the water, nutrients, and minerals are absorbed by the blood cells and becomes part of our body here. Now after absorption of most of the water, nutrients, and minerals, the food enters the large intestine, which is about 1.5 meters long. And there, the water and minerals are absorbed from the remaining indigestible food and whatever is left after absorbing 
all nutrients, minerals, and water is discharged or removed through the rectum and anus. So kids, today we learned the process of digestion. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye.